Oh wait, what? Give it a title. Okay. Um. Ooh. Uh, Hill Saeed. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to spell that later. <laughs> Good. Okay. Hey, girl. Hey, Lord. <laughs> Well, I first met Gail in high school, and she was the tallest thing going. <laughs> so we said, she's got to be our center for the basketball team. But I knew her sister first, Charlotte, and Gail, actually my dad to this day, and my mom called Gail Chamberlain after Will, Will Chamberlain. Because when my dad came to our basketball game, he said, Good God, that girl was tall. She tall like Will Chamberlain. <laughs> and ever since, he's, he's been calling her Will Chamberlain. But um, so we play basketball together. But our friendship really evolved maybe seven years ago, something like that, when you turned 40. Exactly. Yeah, right before, yeah. yeah. Um, so a few months before her 40th birthday, we ran into each other at ShopRite in North Brunswick. I'm pushing the cart, and her and Sherelle are shopping. I forgot who noticed who first. I noticed you. You noticed me yeah. first. And then I looked up, I was like, oh my God, Gail, what are you doing down here? And she said, I live down here. I was like, no way, I live down here. I don't know if you know, but anytime somebody is from Hillside and you see them down this area, it's a big deal. It is a big deal. Because it's like, wow. Yeah, we done escaped. Yeah, we done escaped. Please be free so, now. When I learned she was four minutes away, it was a wrap. Right. Wow. Okay. She was my dog That's ever it. since. That's and it. our friendship dogs. has That's evolved. Right. Into like something very, very close and special to my heart. To my heart. And there's nothing I wouldn't do for her. And feel the same way. Great story. That's it. Yeah. We're gonna like retire and like be living all That's it. happy ever after with That's our right. wives. Go, Randy. Tell you what. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. So here's my story about Gil. I met Bill through my partner, Lorna, and she told me, <laughs> like so this is like a continuation of Lorna's story. It was about seven years ago, and she's like, oh my goodness, I met, um, I saw a oh, from Gail from Hillside, right? And like, she meets so many people, Lorna knows sweet people. I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, good, yeah, you yeah. better. She's like, yeah, she lives right down here, and her girl lives right down here. I was like, really? Okay, okay, good. Plus, I was going through something at the time, so I wasn't really paying attention. Then, Sherelle invited us to Gail's 40th birthday party. And I thought, this is a great opportunity for Norna to connect with somebody that, you know, she knows and loves. So I was really excited that we are going to the birthday party. And Norma was like, I don't know what to get her. I don't know what to get her. And at the time... I was doing some artwork, some decoupage and stuff like this. And Lorna, she keeps a lot of things, a lot of articles and photographs. And she had an article about Gail playing basketball and like being a high school. And I'm like, this is perfect. We're going to make something for her out of this article. So my first memory of Gail is making a decoupage face of the article about Gail being the basketball superstar. And then when I met her, I was like, and Sherelle, I was like, she was good people. And I was like so excited that we had some new friends right around the corner. And it's been nothing but love ever since. And I want to say that Gil loves my craziness. <laughs> That's why I love it. <laughs> and that's right. exact laughter. That is what I always think of when, when I think of Gail. She, we will have be hanging out at our apartment, uh, get a little partying, get a little you know, whatever, hey. whatever, whatever. And I will just say something, and then her laughter fills the room. <laughs> and her laughter then triggers me to laugh even more. And it feels so good to hear her laughter, to feel the laughter. And it's just, um, I just think of you as this smiling, laughing, all of sunshine. Aww. Thank you, baby. Aww. So love. Go ahead. 
I was bad at Gale in a past life. <laughs> Which we know. <laughs> we, have <a> sp- <laughs> we have a special bond. We do. We do. Since day one, the minute I laid eyes on her, I knew that uh, it was almost like a reunion. I'm like, oh, girl, it's been, a, it's been like, what, a thousand years? Yes. Like a couple thousand years. But it was a reconnection, and, and I've been happy ever since. Um, since day one. I feel so blessed that we reconnected. Um... I'm so, I feel very lucky, and whenever I see you, I always feel happy. I don't, there's never been a time that I felt like, uh. So <laughs> day one was that. So day you know one what I mean? Like, you know, yeah, you have some yeah. people, you're like, uh, you, right. you again, or right, whatever. Right. This I one, I don't. Yeah. So wait, so wait, did, was day one the balcony when you were outside? No, no, the, no. the day one was when I asked her if she, if she needed help moving day in. Day one, when uh, we moved in, yeah. And, and he was open up, he was I like, said, Do you need girl, help y'all need in? some help. And, and I was like, you, no, that's okay, you know. So then after about the third trip, he go, girl, please. He said, yo, walk up and down. Yeah, up and down, up and down. Yeah, he like, yeah, but yeah he did. I, I agree with Paul. Like, whenever we have a good time, I always have a great time laughing. And, and, and deep times, too. We have to have some, some serious issues. Um, but it's always, it's always love. And it's very special. So, and I feel very blessed and fortunate to know her. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a story about, okay, I titled it when we first met. Uh, Gail and I met in Sarahville at uh, Jazz Hair Expressions. It's a hair salon where I was working. And um, this was back in 2000 when I was 20 years old. <laughs> Um, and um, the first time that I saw her, I thought she was the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. And um, she was getting her hair done and everything. And I always had this fascination with her. I thought she was so beautiful and chocolate, and tall, and sexy. And um, then. Uh, a couple of weeks later, her beautician did not show up to do her hair, and I happened to be there, and I was like, yes! <laughs> so then I took over, and um, I started doing her hair for her, um, and uh, we hit it off, and we all decided to go out, and uh, her hairdresser actually told her that I had a crush on her, and she didn't believe it, she said, no way, because she's engaged to be married to this dude. <laughs> And he said, that ain't going to work out. <laughs> so, ever since then, ever since we went out on our first date to the Chinese buffet place, we were going in Edison, and we weren't by ourselves, and we were not alone, and that was the night we had our first kiss. Uh, kiss now. <laughs> yeah.